Hi everyone, welcome back with this particular video. So in our previous video, we have learned about looping inside Python. We saw like how we can uh, use this particular while loop. So in this particular video, we'll be uh, building one amazing uh, like program. We'll be implementing one amazing game called guessing game with the help of Python. And here we'll be utilizing that particular looping concept. So this is going to be one amazing video guys. So make sure you watch this particular uh, video till the end. And after uh, building this particular project, you will be more familiar with this particular concept you have learned so far. So first of all, let me tell you uh, what is this particular guessing game. So here, uh, what uh, we want to do exactly. See, guessing game is nothing but uh, here, first of all, we'll try to generate a random number. So here, we'll try to generate a random number. That number uh, we'll call as a jackpot number, okay? So as a uh, user, what you will do? You will just try to guess that particular number. Okay, which number? Let's say I generated one number called, uh, let's say, uh, 10. Okay, now, now this particular program will ask for the input, okay, uh, from you. So you have to pass one input, like what is the particular number actually? So here you have to pass that particular jackpot number. You have to guess that particular number. Let's say you have uh, given a number, let's say eight. Then your program will tell uh, it's a lower number. Try to guess something higher. Okay, now let's say you have, uh, let's say guessed, uh, let's say uh, 20. Now your program will tell it's a higher number, guess something lower. Now let's say you have given 10. That means this particular 10 and your jackpot number uh, number is 10, it is matching together. Then uh, uh, it will tell you your guess is correct. Okay, so this particular program actually will, will be implementing with the help of this particular uh, while loop concept and all. Okay, apart from while loop, uh, we'll be also using conditional statement and all. So let's uh, get back to our code editor and try to uh, start the implementation. So first of all, here I'm going to create a file. So I'm going to name this particular file as 15 uh, guessing game. dot pi so see guys if you are a beginner and if you are uh, like implementing this kinds of projects for the first time i know that uh, it would be a little bit hard for you okay so what you can do you can break down this particular uh, problem statement in a multiple chunks then this particular concept will be more easy for you to understand okay so what you can do let's say first of all try to uh, try to note down what are the functionality you want to implement in this particular game let's say the first functionality uh, what i want to implement so it will generate okay it will generate a random number okay random number let's say it will generate a random number uh, between 1 and 100 1 to 100 okay then the second functionality what i have to do i have to take an input take an input from the user input from user okay so user will pass a number pass a number then the third thing what i have to do i have to compare that particular number okay i have to compare compare or match match that number then fourth what i have to do if correct show results okay show results so these are the functionality actually i have to implement in this particular game now see, you have broken this particular st uh, problem statement in a multiple chunks and in a smaller chunks actually. Now it would be easy for you to implement this particular application. Now the first thing what I have to do, I have to generate a random number. Okay, how to generate a random number? I think you uh, already uh, like saw. Uh, we can use uh, actually modal, modal inside Python. So there is a modal called random modal. Okay, I think I already taught you this particular modal called random modal. So let's import this particular random modal. And if I want to generate a number, what I can do, I can call this particular random dot randit. Okay, rand int and inside that I have to pass the range. Let's say I want to generate 1 to 100. Okay, and this will give me the number and I will store this particular number in a variable called jackpot. So let's say this is my jackpot number. Fine. Now if I print this particular number, you can also see that print jackpot number. I'll save this particular program and I will run this particular program here. So Python. So you can see this particular file name. It's a guessing game dot pi. So 15, okay, 15 guessing game dot pi. Now you can see number is 31. Okay, now if I again execute this particular program, every time it will generate a random number. Okay, and that particular number would be my jackpot. And this particular number we have to guess, right? So now let me, uh, yeah, delete this particular print statement. So now we have generated the random number. Now next thing what we have to do, we have to take an input from the user. Okay, that means user will pass a number. So let's take the input. So here I can write, uh, I'll take a number. Uh, I'll just store it in a variable called guess, guess number, okay, guess number is equal to input and here I will ask uh, this particular number from the user, uh, enter your guess number, 
okay and i'll try to convert this particular number to integer fine because uh again we are playing playing with integer actually data type so that's why we have to convert our data to the integer now next thing what we have to do we have to compare and match that particular number okay so let's do this particular functionality so for this actually what we can do we can use this particular conditional statement so first of all i'll check one condition if uh this particular guess number okay guess number uh if it is let's say less than okay if it is less than my jackpot number okay that means what i have to uh, what i have to print i have to print uh, wrong please guess higher okay higher that means if this particular guess number is less than the jackpot i'll tell the user please uh, guess something higher okay higher number otherwise else in the else condition i'll just write uh print wrong please guess lower okay if this number is uh, higher okay that time actually it will tell guess something lower i think you got it okay how to compare okay how to compare and match this particular number so now let's execute this particular program and see uh, whether it works successfully or not so i'll execute this particular program now it is asking enter your guess number so let's say i will give 23 now you'll see wrong please guess something lower okay see that means it's working fine but here one issue i think you observe whenever i entered the number and executed this particular code this particular code has only run one time okay you can see again if i want to execute this particular program i have to again execute that particular file then i can pass the number let's say 45 uh, guess something lower so every time i have to execute this particular program but i don't want that i want my program to be run okay until this particular uh, number is matching that means your guessing number is matching with the jackpot number so for this what you can do uh, i think you know um, we can use the looping concept that means we want to repeat this particular task right so here i can use this particular uh, loop called while loop so i can just write while <coughs> and uh, and what would be the condition like uh, how many times this particular loop will run unless or until this particular guess number okay guess number is not equal to okay jackpot number okay jackpot number fine this is the condition and inside this particular condition i'll just write this particular conditional statement okay you just press uh, select and press the tab that means it is inside the indentation right now see if i uh, take the cursor here and if i press enter you'll see that this particular if a statement inside my indentation that means while indentation okay that's why in python actually this indentation is super important okay you have to always take care of the indentation right fine so now this thing is done now see uh, what will happen so uh, every time this particular uh, program will run unless and until it, it's not matching but see whenever this particular statement is wrong that means uh, please guess higher or please guess lower okay that time again user will pass the number okay so again i will give the chance to the user to pass that particular number so what i will do uh, outside of this particular condition i'll just uh, again uh, guess the number okay again i'll guess the number so again i will take the input from the user and user will pass the number and this particular variable would be updated again and again it will check okay whether this particular number is matching or not now if this particular number is matching that means guessing number and jackpot number is same so what i will do i'll go to the else condition i think you remember we, i taught you uh, with the help of while loop we can also use the else el, else statement right so in the side the else statement i'll just uh, give a masses that means if this particular number match okay so i'll just give a masses uh, correct guess okay correct correct guess and here i also want to print like how many uh, time actually he took to guess this particular number so for this actually what i can do i can assign a variable called counter okay so i'll just make it as one because you can see because at the very first time he is uh, guessing the number one time right so that's why actually counter i have assigned one and after that and after uh, giving this particular input this particular counter will change okay so here i'll just write counter uh, plus and equal one okay this particular number will uh, update every time okay that means if you give wrong number so it will update every time okay and at the last i can print how many time he took to break the, uh, guess this particular number so here i can write your attempt is so here i can print this particular number counter so guys you can see this is the program and now let's test this particular program whether it works fine or not so i'll open up my terminal and i'll execute this particular program again now it is telling enter the guest number let's say i'll give 34 now it is telling wrong please guess something higher that means my jackpot number is uh, more than this particular 34 
so uh, here I can give let's say uh, 45 now please wrong guess something lower I'll give 40 now it is link please guess something lower I'll give let's say 35 now see the number was 35 correct guess your attemptives were that, that means in the four attempt I guess this particular number so you can comment out guys so uh, how many time it took for you to guess this particular number uh, uh, did you able to guess this particular number in one shot or not okay you can comment out and you can let me know so that's how this particular um, uh, game is working and and uh, here uh, one amazing program we have written you can see we are using this uh, looping concept we are also using this uh, condition statement concept okay uh, so many things actually and we are also using this particular uh, modular concept so uh, whatever things actually we have learned everything we have utilized here and uh, that's how actually we have to build a logic okay this is the programming so whatever things you have learned you have to apply in the problem statement so yes guys this is all about from this particular video thank you so much guys for watching this particular video and i will see you next time